out walking on this glorious Saturday, carrying my trusty old <laughs> Viking hammer as an extra form of enjoyment during this walk uh, before I work on Zoom plans. Um, but pulled off onto the side here to relieve my bladder and as I was holding my phallus, I was reminded of all the things that mean dick out in the health medicine training rehab world and I want to cover something because there were some people that were flagging me as I was walking. One gentleman wanted to take a <coughs> picture of said hammer for his son because his son is really into it. Um, and I'm wondering how many people think that I'm walking for exercise or training or I'm walking to for some fucking thing that's measurable and some device like a ULA ring bullshit or some Fitbit or something else. I'm walking because I absolutely love it. I've said repeatedly, and if you're new to my page, welcome. <laughs> if you've been blocked, fuck off. If you're still here, this is going to be old news, but it doesn't hurt to rehash and emphasize because there's millions saying the opposite and it's just not true. Uh, walking is not training. Hiking is not training. Jogging is not training. Riding a bike is not training. Surfing out there like these guys and girls out there is not training. Swimming is not training. Um, chasing kids is not training. Even if you have 10 kids, even if you're a single mother, even if you're a nurse, farming isn't training. What these are, are activities that you are choosing to do to a certain level of expression, joy, probably. I fucking hope so. I don't know why anybody would do something else other than that's not bringing you this this peace and, and enjoyment. Um, but they're not training. They're activities you express because of your training. And this has to get, or like this has to get cleared up. Because if it doesn't, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna consider those things training and training enough for a human to be able to survive and adapt. Well, then all of a sudden the body's like, yo, I needed more. I needed to be challenged more at every joint from toes to thumbs. I needed more movement all throughout the day. I needed you outside the gym. I needed you away from guided classes like yoga and Pilates and disasters like boot camps and spin classes. And I needed you more than on the court of what you're enjoying to play on the weekends in your sport or whatever. I needed more. Because you didn't give it to me, life has exceeded what your preparation was. So we are not prepared to live in this life. So I'm gonna get your attention, says your body. And I'm gonna get your attention with fear and apprehension through movements you once could do with these. I'm gonna get your attention with <clears throat> healing responses like pain, uh, inflammation, swelling, tightness of musculature. Um, other sensations like numbness, tingling, peripheral numbness, um, restlessness, uh, and then you could go into digestion and endocrine. You could go into Cassie's world where it's all medical, medical, medical to every system linked to everything and the body's going to get your attention. But stay in my world of soft tissue injuries, training and rehab. Now, the body will get your attention. You're gonna start to become afraid of these movements again. As I said, fear and apprehension are like the first healing response to that you got to fucking change your movement capacity and your physical body to be able to express mentally emotionally intellectually spiritually and then physically but you playing your sport chasing your kids farming uh enjoying things like out there <laughs> hiking walking carrying a hammer walking whatever it is you now can't do anymore or bodies like, you can't stay in these environments. I'm going to lock you down. I'm gonna pull you away from things. I'm gonna get so severe, I'm gonna prevent you from getting out of bed. And then you're going to go ahead, guided by not innate, not you, not your truth, because your truth is principle. Your truth, you would just get what I'm saying. You are gonna be guided by these practitioners. You're gonna go ask for help from these health coaches that are coming out in droves, these certified licensed practitioners from chiropractors to acupuncturists to massage therapy to reiki to whatever you want to say whatever medicine german new medicine homeopathy if it's a medicine and it has a name this is what i'm talking about if it's training and it has a name yoga and pilates and functional range and this and this you're going to go get help and they are going to agree with <laughs> 
that. They're gonna get you to believe that one, you can't keep this up forever. That's one thing. Mm, two, you're broken and need fixed by whatever they're selling. Products of some kind, an adjustment, a hands-on kind of technique of some kind. Whatever they have their building for, whatever list of things that they have you on auto debit for, MLM from essential oils to supplements to medications to herbs to cleanses and parasite cleanses and all this other shit. They're gonna get you to think that you're aging, that decline with age is an actual certainty. They're gonna get you to think that you're walking wrong or incorrectly or that you're swimming wrong and incorrectly or you're wearing the wrong shoes. They're gonna sell you the right pillows. They're gonna talk to you about getting the right mattress, wearing the right clothing. They're gonna give you the gadgets. They're gonna sell you the gadgets that you're gonna do on your, that you are going to acquire throughout your daily and they're gonna make you feel better. They're gonna get you to feel a response immediately and then you are gonna go, oh my God, you're a godsend. Holy shit, it's the second coming. Why have I not been in this office before? My God. And then your body's gonna keep repeating this, keep repeating this, keep having flare-ups, keep having setbacks, keep coming back to it. And then you're gonna go back to them. You're gonna go back, back and forth. Then you're gonna shop out to everybody else. And then you're gonna accept this thing because none of it's gonna work, appear to work. Where the body's been working, that's why it's getting your attention. You've just been getting in the way and outsourcing to every single person other than yourself. And these people don't understand principles of life and principles of healing. So now all of a sudden you will say, you know what, I am flawed, I am autoimmune, or I am weak, I, I have degenerative disc disease, or I have fascia something, or I have whatever label they told you, and whatever imaging they had to show you to sell the shit that nobody needs, they needed you to see it. So then you'd be like, oh my God, a healing response, but you called it injury or disease or something, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Um, and then aging, and then dysfunction, and then I just can't do the things I used to do that I love to do. That statement right there pisses me off more than anything because it's not a reality. It's not true unless you, you accept that. But then if you accept it, just shut the fuck up and keep going. Just don't complain or ask for help unless you're willing to change all this stuff and throw that statement out. But I can no longer do the things I love doing, the things that bring me happiness because we're in this world now where nobody wants to do anything. Everyone's all fragile. Everybody's riding their automated things. Everybody's doing all this stuff, outsourcing, outsourcing, claiming they want to get to the top of the mountain, but they don't want to work to the top of the mountain. They want everybody to carry them to the top of the mountain. They want the fucking mountain to be digital and for it to just show up in their room someday. Ooh. I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> What was the point of that? Ah, oh. Leave them. You. I can no longer do the things I love doing. You have to. Oh. <laughs> it's the whole do what makes you happy world. It's the podcast of all the famous people now getting all the famous guests going. Yeah. To express emotions to our fullest. Our physical body has to do so. No shit, host. But then you go ahead and say, you need to take that walk. You need to go on that jog. You need to do that marathon. You need to go do that out there. You need Those are things, absolutely, that you can earn. <laughs> do you deserve them? I don't have any idea. It's up to you. You want to get them, you have to go ahead and prepare to a level greater than them. If, you're, if your life was like an EKG pattern, and all the ups and the downs were just your life experiences. Your training needs to be the same EKG, only greater on the high, lower on the low. It needs to cover your life demand, only it, it superimposed so you can't even see it. And that's what has to happen. That's where we have to go through movement to a level greater than any intention of any emotion of any experience you ever have, moving your body from toes to thumbs so that you can walk effortlessly, carrying a hammer or carrying a child. You can swim effortlessly you can go enjoy the skill of surfing and body surfing and everything out there you can go chase your kids as a single mother or a single father or whatever the hell you can go run that farm you can go ranch you can go do anything you want to to a level that you are prepared to but under no circumstances is training walking swimming surfing all this other stuff because if it was you wouldn't it wouldn't be enjoyable <laughs> And it's like, if I made walking training, if I could, because I could, I could turn it into some stimulus from toes. I would think about my pelvic floor. I would think about pulling through the ground. I would think about bracing and squeezing this and firing this and amplifying this. I wouldn't be 
walking with anybody else. I would be noticing nothing around me. I'd just be blinded by this emotional, spiritual, intellectual, holy shit, mental shitstorm of physical pushing from all ends, from just above sleeping to the greatest intent I've ever experienced. Then where the fuck is the joy? <laughs> What's that preparing me for? More of this. And that's why you guys doing those things, it just sucks. It's like, I'm doing it, but it's not going anywhere. I know, because you're using things that are an expression as a preparation, and there's nowhere to go after that. And then it becomes just this hopeless fucking quagmire of shit where you just are stuck, and it's like, ah, fuck this, I guess, and you're just bitter, and you're reaching out, and you're outsourcing, and you're trying to find loopholes in my message, or loopholes in Cassie's message, trying to play us off each other as if we're not talking every day, you dipshits. You won't find a flaw in what I'm talking about. You won't find an inconsistency. I had family loving, try to find me drinking plain water when I was at this celebration of life. Like, I'm not saying don't drink plain water and then I go live another way. I'm not saying I'll, walking isn't training and this is my training for the day. Absolutely not. This is something I enjoy to do. Walking around my neighborhood, I might go get in the chop with Cassie later on if that's what we desire to do. But I will also train and create inputs so that I can keep doing this to a level greater than I did yesterday. So I can get out there and survive the ocean showing me that I am not shit <laughs> and pushing me under and a riptide pulling me out and me trying to... Absolutely. Because life is meant to be enjoyed, but you have to earn the expression of that enjoyment to the level of what your preparation is. In no way, you coming out of vagina or out of stomach, do you just get to do things. You're here and you're living, that's fine. That's automatic, that's, that's constant. The regeneration adaptation process, that's constant. To the level of where you go, that's on you. And that's the design. It loves the challenge, it loves the effort, it loves not being fragile and fragile at the same time. But this whole thing of this being training and this being exercise and this being, you know, what's the ULA ring measure and how much sweat? I'm sweating my ass off today. In no way am I thinking that I'm losing weight and fat because exercise training has nothing to do with fat loss. Nothing to do with fat loss. And for all you dipshits who I've blocked who are like, ah, oh, you're ADD and move so much. That's why you can eat Pop-Tarts. Oh, out. You're gone. Has nothing to do with it. Um how many steps did I take? What was my heart rate at? What did my heart rate match the stop? Motherfucker. If you go with a reason, if you get what training is, first of all, is true, and you go with your reasoning behind it as to why you do it, all those metrics that they measure will match exactly what your life is demanding, only you'll exceed it because you actually know what training is and you know why you're doing it. And if you get those two right, all those metrics and everything everybody else is selling you, they'll just match and you'll just know. They can put an ULA ring on you. They can put a fucking Fitbit on you. They can measure your this, that, and the other. And it'll be like, oh, it's just measuring exactly what you were doing. Yeah, no shit. So is walking, hiking, what is training? We gotta get that right. We gotta get that treat. It's, it's so perverted and so twisted and so macked out that nobody has any idea. And I'm tired of seeing these people fall victim to this and in their 30s or 40s like not being able to live this life that you can thrive in not being able to experience all that there is out there my god there's so much out there are you kidding me like that doesn't even begin to express it the ocean not even close so before you rah rah and rant me and rave me health coaches don't comment saying oh my god like mine so oh my god and finally somebody's saying what i've been saying oh because it takes two seconds to look at your page and see your fucking fraud lie joke and you will be blocked. Everybody else, take this. If it upsets you, throw the phone across the room, that's fine. I've had people do Zooms who threw the phone across the room because I upset them a year ago. And then they came back and saw truth and they're applying it and they don't need to go any further. They've got it, it's on them. Take this in. This is, <laughs> this is something that's irrefutable. I am going to go get a bunch of croissants for one young doctor and myself because we're gonna be working on plans as long as the croissants aren't already sold out because I've spent 14 minutes sharing things inspired by me holding my phallus urinating on the side of a cliff. Did I urinate or did I not? Take it, it's truth. Enjoy your weekend. Or don't enjoy it, it's up to you. But prepare to enjoy it, boom.